Yeah, I do. Okay, you probably had lots of different types of cameras over the years, which means your photos and videos are stored in lots of different ways and lots of different places. So joining us now for more on the best options to safely archive your most important memories is writer and emerging media consultant, Mohit Rajans. Nice to have you, Mohit. Hi, Molly. Okay, let's talk about this. Tell us how the idea of creating digital backups of our memories has, has really changed over the years. Well, I tackled this problem a little bit more so less than a business consultant standpoint and more from a parenting standpoint because I started to realize over the past 15 or so years, I've been documenting quite a bit of what's happening in my family life, but on so many different types of gadgets and apps that I haven't been able to keep track of where all the memories are. So now we're in a situation with file formatting and different devices changing every 18 months and us really starting to pass from computer to computer to laptop to tablet. And we haven't really paid much attention to where some of these archives are, what formats they're in, and how we can keep them secure to us. You know, Mohit, I checked my phone right before this interview. I have 27,168 photos on my phone. Kelsey said she has 30,000. That's a different segment. Listen, that's an intervention <laughs> segment that we're going to have to do because... That's not healthy for anybody. I don't think I have notes for any of that okay. type of volume. Oh, man, Molly, we're going to have to talk after this interview. But talk to me about some of the trends you're starting to see that, that help, help make this process easier for people like me. Well, I'll tell you, Molly, what scared me was that not too long ago, my dad started to archive some 16 millimeter footage from back in India, et cetera. And he thought for the, forever he's got that backed up now. But the file format isn't the same uh, as it was when he originally backed it up. And it got me thinking a little bit about all the different conveniences we have right now out there that we should be using. So most of the major tech companies have some form of thing that you can use on your phone that you can back up old pictures into different places and storages that etc. Apple iCloud is making it easier for families right now to share some of that. And that's important too. Many of the 20, 30,000 pictures you have are duplicates. They're not things that you need. Now we got to get into that spring cleaning format, right, Molly, where we start to realize, well, wait a minute, they can't all just live somewhere. They all have to be actually compatible with different formats. If you're on Android, that's different. If you're on Apple, that's different as well. But the more important thing in all of this is that we're not device prone now. It used to be back in the day, if you lost your phone, oh no, where are you going to go? Where are all the pictures, et cetera? That's not the case anymore. Oftentimes this is backed up. The question is, how are we backing them up? Okay, so how can we better use our social media archives with all of this in mind? Yes. Okay. So here's a couple of things here. When I first started, I used to use YouTube and private links and video, et cetera, and archive them. But for anybody who's been on Facebook or YouTube, et cetera, to archive their videos, just keep in mind that your videos are being compressed over time and those nice. aren't yours. And the second part about that is you don't own your social media profile. Your pictures can go any day now. Your video can go any day. Somebody can hack into it. So we can put ourselves in a situation where you want those memories that you've documented over the years to really be sacred to you. Don't rely on social media companies to actually save them for you. They're not at the highest quality, and they definitely don't owe you anything. Great tips. Mohit, great to have you on the program. Mohit, talking about digital innovation and technology, you can look him up at thinkstart.ca. Mohit Rajans, thanks for your time. My pleasure, Molly. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.